big problem. Raul Izaguerre is the president of the National Council of La Raza, the largest Hispanic advocacy group in the U.S. We derive our view of America through television. And what television is telling Americans is that one, Hispanics don't exist, and two, to the degree that they do exist, they're more apt to be criminals than any other group in America. We are already familiar with the few standouts, Jimmy Smith, Selma Hayek, He's so courageous. And Jennifer Lopez. Put the gun down! But as the nation's Hispanic population draws nearer to 36 million, activists feel nothing on TV comes close to an accurate representation of the number of Latinos actually living and working here in America. In film and TV, and you're talking about sitcoms and programs, mm -hmm. those are dismal. Those are absolutely dismal. Mary Gonzalez Koenig is the founder of the Latino Council on the Media here in Chicago. For over 20 years, Mary's organization has committed itself to achieving a greater Latino presence in the media that reflects the actual population. Nationwide, there has been a slight increase in the number of Latinos on the broadcast and cable channels. But according to Alcom, pop stars like Ricky Martin and Jennifer Lopez have given the illusion of progress. But by and large, that is not the case. My hope is that we will see Latino general managers, Latino news directors, uh, and, and at least in the near future, the input of meaningful input of the planning and decision making at the stations. So the struggle continues to have more Latinos represented in mainstream media. But on the other side of the coin, there is huge growth in Spanish language media here in Chicago and the U.S. Now, for many Hispanic Americans, learning English is no longer essential. In many cities, it is quite commonplace to get up, go to work, come home, and flip on the TV without hearing a single word of English. Casados, aquí y allá. Indeed, the times have changed. It used to be if you didn't speak English, you were at a disadvantage. But that is no longer the case. Este es su noticiero Univision. The fastest growing American television network is Univision. It is programmed entirely in Spanish. Nuevo Snickers Cruncher. Cronchea esto. In cities like New York and Miami, its newscasts routinely beat those on ABC, CBS, and NBC. And it's estimated that half of this country's 35 million Hispanics now get all of their news from Spanish language radio, television, and newspapers. Jorge Ramos is the evening network news anchor for Univision. He is Spanish language TV's top anchor. This Miami-based anchor frequently beats mainstream anchors Peter Jennings, Dan Rather, and Tom Brokaw in many of this country's biggest cities. And like many of his viewers, he hails from Mexico. Every day at the same time, 1,000 immigrants cross the border illegally from Mexico to the United States. So you see a trend in here. Uh, people in, in the Hispanic community tend to, to prefer to watch uh, their programs and to get their news in Spanish. And that's a trend that's going to continue for the next, uh, for the next decade, for sure. Noticias, Univision, Chicago. Acompañe. Chicago is the fifth largest Hispanic market in the country. Cook County is ranked as the third largest Hispanic county next to Miami-Dade and Los Angeles. Here, Hispanics represent 14% of the city's population. Univision's Channel 66 is the number one Spanish station in Chicago. I think, uh, in general, Chicago is a great town for television. It's incredible the things that you have here, the politics, the dynamics. Rafael Romo is a reporter and weekend news anchor for Univision. He has worked for both English and Spanish speaking stations. He knows the language isn't the only difference. Hispanic media is very different from mainstream media because we are the first window to this country to many of our recent arrivals people who come from a very different system, from a very different country, people who uh, don't know the law here, the, the, even the way uh, finances operate, and uh, that's my challenge. Rafael sees his role as not only just reporting the news, but as a social service to his community. He provides crucial information to immigrants who have only been in the city for a short time. And because of the constant wave of Mexicans coming across the border, the viewership of Spanish TV is only going to grow. The Latinos in general still like to speak Spanish. And let's say 30, 40 years ago, if you spoke Spanish, 
it was seen with suspicion. Nowadays, a lot of Latinos that still speak the language do that with pride. And I think, um, uh, correspondingly, in the same way, uh, Hispanic stations that uh, provide the service in Spanish tend to flourish in the next years. And what happens is that we have a continuous flow of immigrants coming to the United States, and that's the reason why we still have a lot of uh, people speaking only Spanish. But eventually, and the census is going to confirm this fact, uh, we are assimilating at a very fast pace. Chicago has such a huge Hispanic population that not only is there one Spanish-speaking station, but two of them servicing this growing community. Trailing Univision in the ratings, but slowly gaining ground is Telemundo. Channel 44 has been a Telemundo-owned and operated station for 15 years. We're seeing an increase of Hispanics uh, participating in the media in general. Obviously, there's still a long way to go in the general media. Uh, and there are a number of organizations that are trying to work towards that end. Uh, in the Spanish media, obviously, it's a whole different story. Being a Hispanic uh, media, uh, you have a lot more participation. David Cordova has been Telemundo's general manager for the past four years. He has witnessed tremendous growth in the Hispanic community and in the Hispanic media. We expect to continue growing along with the growth of our community. We're very excited about the increases in our uh, audience share. Uh, we're excited about the increases in the quality of the production of our programming here. Una fiscal federal en Nueva York inició una investigación para... Norma García co-anchors Telemundo's 5 o'clock and 10 o'clock newscasts. Like Univision's Rafael Romo, Norma knows that they bring more to their Hispanic viewers than just the language they speak. I think that they can get the news that they need to know from a different perspective. We understand not just the language, but we understand the culture, we understand the traditions. Um, some of us were born and raised in Mexico, so we understand a lot of the issues because we've lived through those issues. But covering news in Spanish, especially in Chicago, isn't always easy. No sé, mijo, no entran las llamadas. Saliendo de aquí no entran. It was quite a challenge because everything, or all of our news sources were in English. We had to translate. We had to look for other sources as far as um, bites and interviews, people that spoke Spanish. It's a challenge. It's probably double the work. But it's, it's very good, especially when you see the ratings. Where's that package coming from? Behind the scenes, there's another challenge. Which language do you speak, English or Spanish? Well, here, it's a mix of both. It's truly a bilingual work environment. Are you recording for uh, Pedro's package? Norma y Victor, si tenemos a Pedro. Tres, dos, uno. Roll it! Muy buenas tardes, ya quedan menos de 24 horas. I think we're going to grow. I think we're going to be very powerful in the future. And I want to be there when it happens. When we return, going up and down the dial, it's hard to miss. And it's not just the Latin sound, it's the language.